Now, exactly one month has passed since China started devaluing its currency, sending shockwaves through global markets. And our Kim Min Ji reports on the impacts. China's currency devaluation last month left much of the global market in shock. It was a move many saw as an indication that China's slowdown was more serious than first thought. Within a three day span, the value of its currency depreciated 4.66%, sending China's stock market into meltdown. On August 24th, dubbed Black Monday, the Shanghai Composite closed down 8.5%, the biggest fall in eight years, sending jitters through global markets. In less than a month, 8 trillion US dollars were wiped off global indices across the world. That's more than five times greater than Korea's GDP. Global research firm Market Economics says 35 benchmark indices all recorded minus rates of profit. The Shenzhen Composite Index posted the sharpest drop, plunging over 17 percent, followed by the Shanghai Composite. Korea's tech-heavy Kostak also fell more than 12 percent. The meltdown in China also hit global currencies, with Brazil's real and Colombia's peso falling more than 10 percent and 6 percent, respectively. Although the situation appears to be waning on rising hopes for further economic stimulus measures from the Chinese government, some say it's too early to conclude there's been a recovery. There's a high possibility that market woes will return soon. The yuan depreciation so far isn't expected to greatly lift Chinese economic growth, and market watchers are predicting a further devaluation of the currency down the road. The expert added the markets remain vulnerable as the global economy is sluggish, and especially with the U.S. Fed's monetary meeting next week, at which a highly anticipated rate hike could be determined. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.